Bloody hell. Morning, morning, morning. So Super Rod sent me those socks and they've gave they've given James a pair. I gave him him on Friday and I said, right, wear these Monday because I want to get them in a video for today. So let's fingers crossed, he's got his socks on, we're going to see him. And then we'll get to the job and we'll show you around. As he got his socks on, look. Look at them. I gave him the whiter ones, look, because they're a bit more colourful, because he, he only wears his school socks. <laughs> right, we have got to go, I reckon an hour again, mate. Yeah. Another hour's drive. Really? Yeah, subscribers. Another subscriber, working with another subscriber today. We've got our socks on, we're going to go and get a coffee, as always, and we'll see you in a minute. Here we are. I got a coffee. Blonde latte, right. So here we go. Date of last inspection, February 20, 2007. Sorry, so I think that's when the client said this was built. So recommended date of next inspection, obviously, was 10 years. Um, we've gone a bit over that, but we shall see what we got. So looking at it straight away, we've got main switch, cooker, immersion is off. we got boiler, alarm is off, smokes, lights, bow which will be that and then we've got an rcd just controlling the two socket circuits okay um sockets and you've got a little thing here look, left bedroom lounge and then sockets right hall cupboard and kitchen so this is the board we're going to be testing today um first things first as always client is happy for us to film i've got james going round um he's going around checking all the sockets He's looking at them. He's just gonna do a little visual check first and then he's unplugging everything. Um, we just gotta see his socks first. They're better, aren't they? Look, yeah, absolutely brilliant. lovely, mate. So he's gonna unplug everything first. And I have noticed a client's got some USB sockets. So uh, obviously when we're doing insulation resistance testing, gotta be very careful with these, okay? Um, they might actually give you some funny reading. So still got a few things in here, but he's gonna unplug all them. I'm gonna whip the cover off the fuse board We'll have a look at that, and then we're going to get on with it. Another thing to note, we've got Hive um, here. So you don't want to be um, insulation resistance testing through that. Kind did say there's some LED strip. Um, and the drivers are mounted up in the corners, so hopefully we can get to those. And hopefully... Um, this one, somewhere else, where is it? The back there, is it? Yeah, there he is, look. We've got to get to that one. Uh, it's just Velcroed on. There's a cable going up, so that looks okay. we got a switch here that does all the cooker and stuff. Um, yeah, it's looking not too bad so far. So this is a second floor flat, okay. Um, New colours, obviously this is um, hasn't had any alterations by the looks of it when it was wired. So fingers crossed, this should be okay. We've got a couple of ring circuits here. Um, classic 16mm incomer, twin and earth. Um, so that must come from, we'll try and find where that comes from. See what is protecting that. Uh, origin of the source. Um, James is firing up the iPad. We're going to start by, um, we've, we've gone around and unplugged. There's lots of USBs everywhere, so I've just got to go and double check there's nothing else plugged in. But um, yeah, we'll start filling through the form now. All right, James is now going to sit there with his new socks on. Um, we're going to isolate the board in a second because we want to do a ZE and a PFC at the board. We've just done the nominal voltage, which was 241. And with my QTEC KT63, you can do the two probes. So you've got the... Um, Live and earth and live and neutral, you don't need the free leads, okay? So we're going to do that now, and I'll let you know what the results are. And that will give us an indication as well what the earthing system is here. I've got a feeling it's going to be PME. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll go and check that in a minute, but that's my hunch anyway. So as you can see there, we had a one zero point one four earth loop. Disconnected the main earth. Installation is off, but the isolator there. And then we'll go 1.7 KA for the PFC. So the client gave me a key and he said cupboard on the left as you come in. So in here, should have a meter. Right. So what have we got? Incomer. So that's 
So that's the blocking comer. So that will be like um, lighting in the corridors. This is number 18. 18. So plot 17. We're plot 17 then. Plot 17, which is number 61, which is what we are. But, oh, here we go. Sent there. That says block. Black. Block. Idiot. Black. So that's black phase, okay? So straight away. Someone stripped the single insulation here. So that needs to be addressed. Um, that can be shortened. This is his CT that goes up to his flat that gives him his meter reading. He's coming out of there so we can take that. We'll assume that's what it is in there, 100 amp. It's coming up, going into here. It's not too bad. And then we've got the main switch and then he's protected by a 63 amp MCB. Okay. Um, and then he's run off in uh, here, which is a little bit chonky, and he goes off in a twin and earth, okay. Um, again, in the last video, we've got this unprotected twin and earth. Um, obviously, it's retrospective um, when this was done, so, We'll have to assume that that is, that is run as it should be. Goes up there and he sort of, he runs up there, goes off and sort of spider nests to the, I would have liked to have seen an armoured cable to be fair, feeding that. Um, but it is what it is. So we know what we've got here. Um, and these are obviously the other flats. Then you've got communal area, which will just be powered. Um, just do the, the lighting and sockets and stuff in the communal area. So, yeah, okay, well, we got this. We go up, we go up now and we can make some comments about this. So with this submain running Twin and Earth, what I'm going to do, just for you guys, <laughs> is ring an NIC technical helpline. Let's see what they say about the um, 63 amp MCB, which is fine, protecting the 16 mil tails. It's just the it's just the issue of it's an unearthed um, it's an un, it's not protected basically it's not protected cable it's unearthed it should be in a conduit or steel wire armoured um, and it's in the fabric of the building look it runs down in this in this wall basically so I'll ring them up and I'll see what they've got to say about it yeah there we go I just rang the NIC it was helpful he said. It is buried in the fabric of the building, so ideally you need to put a 30 mil amp RCD on it, but we're not going to do that because we're going to have selectivity issues. We can't use a time delay RCD because it doesn't give us additional protection. Um, so the only thing you could do, put it down as a C3 recommendation. Um, where it's in the fabric of the building, because it's not in armoured, it should be um, a 3 mil minimum steel plate on the cables, okay? Um, so that answers another question from the last video. We can't use a time delay RCD um, and we can't use a 30, mil 30 milliamp RCD because we're going to have selectivity issues of it tripping here, there and everywhere. OK, um, so what we're going to do is put it down as a C3. And if the client wants to do anything about it, unfortunately, we're going to have to chip all this plaster off. Assume there isn't a plate there. Like he says, I can't see any evidence of a plate. Um, and you've got to you've got to uh, assume that it's uh, less than 50 mil. Um, unless there's architects drawings and pictures of what they've done, we have to assume. So we'll put it down as a C3, it's a recommendation, so it's not a fail, but it's a recommendation. So there we go, a little bit of information there for everybody. So we've got a cooker, I've got a cooker here. I've left the board cover off, okay? It's just me and James here, client is at work, door is shut, all right? James is sitting, doing the test sheet, look. He's at school again, I'm gonna tell him off in a minute. So the oven's there. And here's the switch for it. So I assume that they have wired down underneath the plinth and back up to this oven. I assume that. What I'm going to do is take that off there, um, check the wire in. That can be one of my checks for this circuit. And then what we'll do is we'll do, when we do our ZE, uh, our ZS, sorry, we'll do it. But we'll, we'll put the earth onto the oven because obviously I can't, I'm not going to pull this out. Yeah, this is like one limitation. I'm not here to remove this oven. What I will do is put the probe on here to make sure that we have got an earth connection to this oven. Someone just said about it in the previous video, um, so we'll just highlight it in this one. we we'll do the ZS, but we'll connect the earth to the oven, so at least we know the oven is earthed, okay? So 
So I don't know about you guys, but what I normally do is anything like this with a single point or socket circuit, I'll do an R1, R2. A lot of people calculate it. Um, and on lighting, because it's a fiddly thing, I'll just do an R2. I'll just do a fly lead from the board. I'll go around to all the metal plates, all the switches, and we'll do an R2 reading just to make sure we have got an earth. Obviously, some of these are going to be plasterboard. So if you test there, you won't get a continuity reading on the earth. Um, but James, if you go back to that cooker circuit, yeah. 0 0.08 on the R1, R2. Looks fairly neat. There's grommets um, everywhere. I've just noticed. I've just noticed. What? That's strange. So we've got a feed in. We've got a feed in here. We've got two. We've got two outgoing cables. <laughs> Just notice that one's going down and one is going off up back up jesus where's that going then what's that dishwasher should be switched from over here so over here we got washing machine dishwasher cooker hood so i don't know where that we'll have to check now where that where that's going off to because he's coming in and he's going out the load side there's two cables look we've got two cables coming out here so we're gonna have to um we're gonna have to find out where that goes. So we've got a ZS 0 0.29. <laughs> that, that neutral just pulled out of there actually. They're they were they're super loose. So obviously it's part of it. Go around, check terminals are tight, etc. Yeah. Loose wires cause fires. So I'm gonna get James now. We're gonna, gonna gonna get him to hold the earth connection onto the oven, and then we're gonna do a reading to make sure that we have got an earth connection at that oven, yeah. So we've just done a reading at the oven, 0 0.32. So we've got an earth there. We're going to screw that back. And then what we're going to do today is go around, do all our R1, R2s, check earth continuities, and we're going to do our insulation resistance at the board in one big go, okay? So we'll show you that when we get to it. So we've got immersion here, which is actually switched off, and we just <laughs> look for a tank. I don't think there is one. I think he's got a combi boiler. And there's a switch there, look, immersion water heater that is off so we, we'll take that we'll take that plate off and we'll do an r1 r2 there um and then i've just noticed that little panel up there i'm 99 sure that's going to be aib yeah so just be wary of that don't touch that so there we go i had to get my big colleague to do this one because it's behind this sort of shelving and he doesn't do anything, but, so we can do our R1, R2 there, and we'll leave that off, and we'll do our ZS as well. So the only problem with this circuit is, obviously, this. We've got a flex outlet that's not been used, so we'll, all I'll do here is I'll get some um, fire mate, and I'll fill that up, and then um, there'd, there'd be no hole in it then, basically. That's what all that, that would be. Um, so rather than put it down, just put some fire mate in there, and it fills the hole up then. This is the boiler, we're gonna do this circuit now. A little trick, I'm gonna show James as well. If you're struggling, if you're struggling and you've only got the crock and you think, oh, that keeps falling off, get yourself a screw, put him back through, yeah? Clamp him on right underneath there, and he sits on there. That'll give you your earth, that'll give you earth connection, yeah? All right, mate, so if you press that test button for me. There you go, you can write that down. R1, R2, 0 0.16. So we just tested out this old alarm um, point, which is fine. It's not used anyway, as you can see. Client's right on there. It's not used, so he was off in the board. So we'll leave him off. Um, I do like this. The bow transformer wires, they have actually wired in uh, Twin and Earth, which is really good because obviously these, these are rated at 240 volts, so they're okay to come into the consumer unit, whereas you see the bow wires, you know, the little two-core bow wires, they're not rated to come into the consumer unit Um uh, so, so it shouldn't really be in here. So if, if they were, they, sh they should be mounted out here if you've got it in bow wire rather than bringing it into the consumer unit. Moaning about, um, probably moaning about something to be fair. So these are Fire X. Um, I don't like these because the um, the connection actually has to live inside the wall cavity. Look, so you end up with connector blocks in there sort of, because there's nowhere to put them. Whereas the ACOs, they're, they're within the base. That's why I use the ACOs. Uh, this does say um, multiple alarms on here, but there's only one. It's just a two corner earth leaving the board. We'll leave this like this, unplugged, because then we can insulation resistance test this. Obviously, you don't want to be insulation resistance testing alarms 
LED lights, USB sockets or RCDs? Right, a couple of things um, I don't like, they're not a fault. Got one lighting circuit in here, look, and it's pitch black. So you lose absolutely every single light in the flat and one RCD controlling both socket circuits. So you lose, trip that RCD, there's my functional test, I've just checked it. You lose all of your sockets um, in the whole property. So that's just a little observation. Um, won't go down on the test sheet, but it's just an observation from me. Look, we've got the fly lead out and we've got some socks on. <laughs> well, we're going to know this first. Can you press him? Continuity no. And press him again. Test. Zero, zero. Right, you take that. I'll take this. We're going to stick him at the board, yeah? And we're just going to use the fly lead as our earth path back. So we're just checking the R2 reading. So. Go to that one there, mate, on the screw. Okay, what we can do, we'll set this up for you. So there we go, we've got 0 0.09, what we'll do, look, if we put it on, right, if you come off of there, put him on hands free. Right, now just touch it. Should. Right, now come off, now go back on. Should do it automatically for you, look, so you've got your hands free. Yeah, right. that's good. Go to that one. We have, we have just take, taken that one down, so we know there's an earth there, but we're just showing you for the camera and it's James's benefit. So we're going to find the highest point, so that's really low. So this one in the EMA, that one should be the same. The so clients, I assume they've stuck up their own lights by the looks of it. Yeah, 14. that's good. 21. 22.22. Just out of interest, I know this is going to be plasterboard, but just just check there. I know it, we're not going to get reading. I'm not going to get reading. It's plasterboard box. Yeah, this will be the same. Just out of interest, check these little, check these little fellas. Okay, we'll pop them down because there's nothing there. Um, nothing there. Can you reach that? Yeah, probably. yeah, he can. He's six foot something. Six foot nothing. What are you, James? Six foot three. Yeah. Probably before, oh, he's got a bit bigger overnight. Yeah, overnight, yeah. Yeah, a little trick. Get that back of the screwdriver. Give him a little tap on the side. Keep going all the way round. Go on. That's it. Now we'll see what happens. Woo! -woo! I'll start charging you for these tips, boy. Right. How's he looking? Do we have a look first? Yeah, pretty standard. And then if you stick him on that earth terminal. I might, it's annoying they're short, isn't it, those leads? Yeah. It'd be a bit of a bit, you could leave it on the floor then, couldn't you? What we got, mate? 24. 0.24, that's good. So we leave that down, because we're doing earth loop at that one. If we come in here, just the bathroom. We've got a metal fitting, but to me that looks double insulated, but just go and try it, because he's got a screw... It's got a screw on the front of him. Hold on, hold on. Yep, go on. What is it? Let's try it. Stick it on somewhere metal, mate, wherever. Oh, he's metal and he's earth, that's good. 24. So we will have to check the IP of that, obviously. IP rating, right, come in here. Right, we won't bore you guys anymore. We're gonna do the same at all these lighting points. We will have to take the fan isolators down and check those. And they've got the same light in here. So we're just gonna get on with that now. There he is, there's the bonding clamp, just there. So we can get to that. So, while we're here, while James has got the lead, yeah. <laughs> he did have it, we're gonna just check the continuity of the bonds, yeah? yeah? So he's connected at the board. If you go under that sink, mate, so he's connected at the board still, and we've got one, two, three bonds to find. Uh, two bonds to find, sorry, that is just a, a big sleeve in. So we've got one, sorry, yeah, we have got three. That's the main earth, believe it or not, that's the twin earth. Then we've got three bonds to find. One is in here, it's the water bond there. So we'll check that. Second is under here. James is gonna stick him on that pipe. Just down in that corner. You can just put 
him on the pipe, mate, to be fair. Is the tester on? Have you, is he on? Do you need to press it? No. So we need to know them leads again, mate. We need to know those leads again. Right, I'll get you the lead. You turned him off, didn't you? Yeah, yeah that's all right. All right. everywhere but yeah yeah go on All right press continuity no we'll just just do it again so that's the lead 0.98 that's nothing All right try it again you might actually read nothing because it's such a big trouble is we can't get the cable off yeah because he's in that cupboard isn't he What you got? 0.03. Yeah, that's good. That's it. 0 0.03. That's our gas bond. So that's good. So I'm bringing me a mate, please. Into this cobard. So, and then just, if I have this, just see that, see that clamp under there, just stick him on that clamp that, with that earth wire. Yeah. See the earth wire, stick him on the wire, that's it, and then press. 0 0.03, that's good. Should be less, but it doesn't matter. So you have that, and now we need to find where that other bond might go. I'll tell you what, the age of the building, it might be some sort of bonding um, in the bathroom. Possibly radiator. No. Sink. This sink's got some supplementary, just out of interest. Stick it down there, mate. Don't worry. So you see on the see on the pipe, look, there's like an earth wire. Yeah. See where we're going. Put them on the clamp, that's it. And test. There we go. 0.26. You've got some sort of supplementary then into here, which is good. So that's like the old thing before you had RCDs on the lighting in the bathrooms. You'd have like a supplementary bond to all the pipe work and stuff, yeah. Just out of interest. Yeah, we got it here as well. Do you want to just check that one quick? Yeah. Then we can take that off, can't we? Two seven. Yeah. Sweet as. Right, we're moving on to continuity of the ring finals now. Um, yeah, there is like a circuit chart. It says bedrooms and lounge, doesn't it? Yes. That one. So these should be off then. Um. Bedrooms and lounge. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, let's read that again. Sorry, sockets left. Okay, so way round, mate. Okay. So change your right into hall, cupboard, and kitchen. On that circuit nine, yeah? What I'll do is, I will go and check all that. Hall, cupboard and kitchen. And when I'm going around with this tester, I'll also count up. I'll do my counting as well. So, <laughs> client did say we can put the kettle on in a minute, James. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. That'll be the six, that'll be for the fridge. And he's off, fridge is off. Six. Hall. Hall. Did I say hall? Hall, cupboard and kitchen. So it must be this cupboard. Yeah, six. Did I say six? So that'd be seven. That's that's on then, seven. And these must be on still, seven. Yeah, they're on. Okay, so that's seven then on that circuit. And then I'm just gonna flick off the other ones and test those. So we're just doing the, um, you can see there, I've got the circuit turned off at the minute. We've got the board on because we need the lights on. Um, 
So we're just going to do our um, continuity on the ring finals now. Hopefully we've got a full house. So that's so that's doing that because it needs to be nulled out. Right. Be very surprised if this was a zero. So zero point one eight. So the neutrals are the same size. So we want to try and get exactly the same reading, yeah. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. No so neutrals, we want to try <laughs> we want to try and replicate that. Um point one eight, wasn't it? Yes. So two one, so slightly higher. It might just be these crocs. Give them a little squeeze. So that is within, okay. And then the CPCs obviously will be higher. 1.67 times higher. So 0.29. So to me, that looks within. Um, we'll record these now on the test sheet and then we're going to link out a figure of eight. We're going to do the opposites here. I'll just use the crocs and then we're going to go around with this. We'll have to use the other lead because the other one's not working, is it, James? No. I um, think so. And we do that on our twos at the sockets. <laughs> so we've linked out our opposite cables basically so that one is with that one but we've linked them out to the other one okay so effectively we created two big loops of cable now so at any point now that we go to on this ring final the reading should be exactly the same the only time it will be higher is if there's a spur off of the ring okay um john ward has done a video on this i'm not going to bore you with uh, the details but go and watch his video um should we try the martindale james where is it have we still got it Where do we put it, mate? If we there it is. Oh, wait, hold that a minute. Let's see what we get. So we we can work this out. Uh, we can apply some science to it. Um, so we take the readings, what we got, and then we can add them together and then divide by four. That should give us this reading. So let's go and have a look now. Is it the kitchen? Can we remember which one it is? Yeah, it was the kitchen. I think. Is it kitchen, mate? That's it. Kitchen and what? Uh, cupboard. Just that little cupboard, isn't it? So 0.11. This looks about right. 0.11. So we'll have to take that off because we want to check the earth in there anyway. That, that should be a metal back box, um, hopefully. So is it just two sockets in there, is it? Yes. Yeah, there's only two to test, isn't there? Two there, and there's a one here, isn't there? That one here. So point one zero. Yeah, that's it. Yep. Well, because we can, we're just going to prove the neutral connection as well. Obviously, the neutral is the con conductor that um, burns out the most, believe it or not. More than the live... Jesus, 1.192. What's going on there then? That would be if I put it in there, wouldn't it? There we go. There we go, 0 0.08. It's actually better than the line. Um, conductor. 0 0.11, exactly the same, which is good. And this should be the same. We'll just do the other sockets to show you. So that socket doesn't get used, obviously. Or it gets used the most and the connections are loose. So exactly the same now. That's just a little way of doing it. And this is obviously the kettle socket. So one of these will probably be a little bit higher. So that one's fine. That one's fine. We just carried out our RCD, so the highest on the times five, 16 milliseconds. Exactly. So in the last video, I, I said the wrong one on purpose, just to see how many people would notice. 16, I did, honestly. 16 milliseconds. For that. Yeah, got that. Okay, um, right, now we'll move on to the other socket circuit. Got it. Yes, help yourself to tea or coffee. 
There we go. So we're just um, doing our final circuit. James, what was the lines? The 0 0.50? So they're 0 0.50 and we've got 0 0.92, which is high. We should be about 0 0.83. So I have noticed the client, I assume it's the client, it's changed loads of sockets. So when I do my visuals anyway, I'm going to take, not my visuals, my checks, I'm going to take them off and I'll check to see if we can get that reading down um, on the CPCs. If not, that will obviously go down as, a, as an FI, so like further investigation is needed. So I'm just under the client's desk, as you are, and... Um, I've noticed all the USBs that have been changed, all the connections are quite loose. Obviously, that one's pulled out. It, it was probably in there because I had continuity, but the reading was slightly higher than the neutral. Um, the earths are twisted, so I, I can't think that it's going to be behind a socket front. So we'll put that back in. We'll retest. I am going to check them all because they are quite loose, but um, this might just go down as an FI. Nine zero now. Eight eight. So we've had an eight seven. So it's, it's getting better. So there we go. Zero point eight seven. All of the USBs that have been changed, the, the connections were all slightly loose. So I've gone around and checked them all. That was the worst in here. So although they're sort of in the same sleeve, and I don't think they're twisted, they're just in the same sleeving. So they've sort of um. You know, and stuff can sort of arc out, it's sort of rubbing but not connected. That was really loose, that terminal screw. So I've done him up and he's improved the reading um, a lot. So um, I'll check a couple more, but these were the ones that were loose, the ones that have been sort of retro changed over. I'm not sure if these are original or what, but. James has dropped one of those lights. We got an LED uh, driver and then the client is actually fitted. Look, that's a quick connector. They're really good. There we go. So he's actually used the right thing that you should be using. So well done, David. If that's you, well done. I'm well, just going through my last um, check sheet. The only two things that we found is that the mains tails down in the cupboard, someone's um, taken off the insulation. I'm not going to fail it for that. That's going to be a C3. So it is improvement needed, but it's not going to be a fail. There's no serious risk to anybody with that. Um, if there was like copper showing, then you would put it down as a C2 or C1. And and also it's just that 16 mil unprotective coming up to here. But again, I spoke to the NIC guy and it's a C3. Okay. Um, so they're just recommendations. So on this one, we've got a pass, which is nice. We've got a satisfactory. James is going to go and load up everything at the van. We're going to put some labels on the board. We're going to ring the client. He's going to come and see us. And then we're going to go on to the next one. Obviously, there's obvious things like the consuming it's plastic. Um, but again, it's a C3, isn't it? We've got RC protection on the sockets. We haven't got it on the lights. So again, C3 recommendation. Um, there is bonding in the bathrooms. And we've, we've proved that to the pipe work. And also, there's no SPD again. But again, the C3 Um this, this place was built before we was fitting SPD, so you can't fail it for that. So there's just a few um, recommendations rather than anything that's unsatisfactory. There we go, we're done on this one. Client is coming in 15 minutes. We're gonna show him what we found. Nothing major, this one's actually, it's nice to find an installation that um, is passable. Um, James is complying with the COVID, which is good. Don't take that off, James, till we get home. Um, yeah. Thanks for joining us. We're not going to film the next one because it's an extension. The um, the owner can't get any test results from the electrician. So we've got to go and carry out an EICR on the extension. And if it's okay, we can give him a satisfactory. But we're only testing free circuit. So it should only take us, hoping, an hour and a half. So we'll see you on the next one. Take care. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. <laughs>